The Department of Rural Housing is under the Ministry of Works and Housing and its core mandate is to provide decent and then affordable housing for rural and peri-urban communities across the country by embarking on a policy that promotes local building materials. The department organized a two-day uh, workshop that trained artisans and then building contractors as to how they can maximize the opportunity of using local building materials in putting up any form of building across the country. So we show the participants how to use latrite to produce or to mold bricks to construct buildings. Everything about the program from the start to the finish. We show them how to produce the bricks, how to lay them, the format and everything that you need to know. So guys, stay tuned, stay connected and this is a first of a series of episodes that is going to be uploaded on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and keep in touch. So let's get Here, you mix the latrite with a little bit of cement to make it compactable. Our chief engineer, Mr. Lawrence, took the participant through the process. Uh, with this bucket, you can either feed in here, the two layers, it will bring you the latrite into the mold, after which you use the cover, and then you compress it. Or you can, some people are able to even remove this thing and feed it directly. Mm -hmm. Yes. The right compressor. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, it's this one, um, when you have it's giving you what is enough to make a break. Unless in certain circumstances, depending upon the motor content, that's where sometimes you have to give you a true press. And that one is also another area that sometimes you have to master. So if a particular one you give more press than the other one, then there is some variation. So that one is another thing that you can This one is slightly bigger. It can be made to uh, use this one. That's the different set for today. This one is producing one at a time. It comes with its motor. Um, it's supposed to be a three uh, phase one, but here we are having only one phase. So it has to be a one phase motor. So one phase is what we are using. Mm -hmm. Uh, this one is sometimes the reason you can't control it, especially when you make it new. Mm -hmm. So you have to work it over a period of time before you can get everything uh, working uh, easy for you. So we are going to do a few things with this one, and then do the other with this one. Can you make it easy? Yes, it's literally easy. Yeah. So um, we are going to start. Let's start with this one.
at this point we showed or we engaged the participant as to the way they can use the bricks to construct a building into a, any dream house so it was not only done by us but then we engaged them to participate fully in the layout of the bricks so as you can see the people who actually came for the workshop were really involved in making this a reality and this is how it started so keep watching and see how the bricks are being laid out Some of the participants also shared their views regarding to the program. It is nice, but how to start doing it? If you are best for our own sake, we are a good one. Now, I think we are a common one. We are a good one. If you are a common one, then people will start changing their mind. But if the material is not available, I've come out to get still will be still find have it at three points. Let's say maybe one set up in Accra, one in the middle, maybe Kumasi, and another one in the northern region somewhere. So we have three depots whereby we can have enough supply of the you know the bricks. Then whenever we want or we have a, a client who wants us to put up a structure or a building for him or her, then we we come to the depot. Maybe if you are closer to Accra, then you come to the depot, Accra depot, if you are in the middle of the country, you go to Kumasi, if you are in the northern region, then Tamale or wherever. 
Then when you come, maybe I have a story building. I do the estimate or the bill of quantity. I know I need maybe 15,000 bricks or maybe 20,000 bricks or 30,000 bricks. Then I know when the moment I hit the Accra depot, I will get my 20,000 bricks without delay. So if in a way the government can help with the bigger machinery, instead of us, you know, molding something like 100, you know, 1,000 bricks, you know, it's tedious, it's tedious. Then we know we have that bigger machinery in Accra. When any time you come to Accra, you get 50,000 bricks on the spot. Then you don't have a problem. Then you just do your estimate, you factor the cost of the brick into it, and then you take it. Overall, the whole project was a success. The whole program was a success. And we at the Department of Rural Housing, we are spearheading this project. And our aim is to see this project known to each and every Ghanaian. And we want to see in a few years people start starting to put up structures using this laterite um, bricks. And it's, 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 it's has been a project that we are too passionate about. And we have some few projects we've done with this material. Some in the eastern region, some in the northern part of the country, and I think the Volta region, and other parts of the country. And we are hoping that we can extend this to all parts of the region. By, by the end of 2025. So we are, we are putting up structures, especially the cocoa uh, farming projects. We, we, are, we are putting up buildings for, for, for cocoa farmers in the rural areas. And this is what we want to see, that people will come back to what is ours, reducing cost and using our local materials to produce or to put up structures which is cost effective if if you are watching this video please share and subscribe to the channel for more of these videos